if you're going to work, do something you love. But as a business owner, you're not only invested financially in a business, but emotionally too. It becomes something that it, it's just as important as your family because it's a part of you. You want it to do well. And I didn't really ever imagine I would do a lot of math with retail, but you really do when it comes down to the tax works tax work and I mean if you want to go get a loan or something like that you have to have a financial plan ready or and a business plan as I learned in school update that every single year one concern of starting a business is finances and one thing that is definitely sure you're not gonna get rich overnight and for me the way I've been able to expand my business without taking out a loan or anything is putting my profits right back into the business in those first early few years of development. There's always someone, whether it's financial or take suggestions from people, people always have good ideas to bounce off of you and for me that was awesome for me in school because I was able to ask a lot of questions and take that advice and apply it to Cowgirl Crush. Being in high school all through college was an advantage for me but when it came to expanding my inventory uh, banks looked at me as a student. They did not look at me as someone that has a job and if I wanted to get a loan could pay my loans. Where do you just say, yeah, let's go do it? There's never the right time. You're always busy in life. There's, there's always something coming up. And so if you rely on, if you think life's not going to happen, you're, you're on of it because it is going to happen. And so there's just, there's never going to be that perfect timing. So you just have to do it. And I mean, it's, man, you talk about the, the great state of South Dakota for business. I mean, it's the land of opportunity versus the, the land of limited resources. I mean, there's so much opportunity and I think it doesn't matter what your business plan is. You, I mean, that work ethic and that perseverance and sticking with it. I mean, that, you, you talk about the American dream. I think that's pretty darn true. I mean, it may sound really corny, but if you're passionate about it and you love what you do and you stick to it, you can, you can make it. I definitely don't do it all. If, if there is a weakness, um, I will definitely hire it out. You know, as far as like the, the marketing things go, you know, we definitely we hired out to somebody to make you know a logo and a letterhead and create um, those marketing things and build the website because I can't I can't do it. And if I know I'm not going to be good at it, I'm not going to do it because I need it to look professional. Um, and I guess we weren't afraid to do that. Um, you know. My wife does all the book work, all the paperwork in terms of the finances because it's not my strong suit at all. I'm not organized enough to do it. And so I think knowing your strengths and, and better yet, knowing your weaknesses so you can hire people to fill in those gaps where you're weak at, um, that's what's going to make your business stronger because you've got to make a team that's filled up of all those strengths that, that completely run that, that business. And when you start a business, you have to stick with it. You know, I, I would encourage them. Stick with it. Stick it out. Make it happen. Don't don't give up when it gets when it gets a little tough. I got a friend that would love to come back to our hometown, and he always asks, "Well, what, what do I do here? I, I wish I could move back, you know." And I always tell him, well, "Start your own job, because you know there's no job for him in his area. What he likes to do, well, create your own job, you know." And it's hard for him to wrap his mind around that because you know, just like a lot of my other classmates, they're on that. Okay, go to college, get a job. I got to move away to get really awesome benefits, and then I'm going to retire. You know, and then after they do that, you know, ten years in, they're like, oh, I wish I could do this or that, and they feel locked in. They feel locked into what they've done, and I just try to encourage them. You know, just try it, man. You you got nothing to lose. Don't start borrowing a lot of money and put put your name on the side of a pickup and yeah. do this and that with no customer base. I mean, you got to be, yeah, like she said, uh, turn your profits right back into your business. Yeah, that's great. You have things that are urgent in your business and things that are important. And I struggle with doing the urgent things instead of the important things. Mm -hmm. And that, that's a detriment to a business. Um, I need to have a more discipline and focus on the important things and delegating the urgent things. You're young and you're starting out and who is the, the determining factor if you're going to make it or not? It's you. And that is a stress, but the stress factor is part of the reward. I mean, because you're getting over that hurdle. You know, I learn more every day about my job. The most advantageous thing about being young is that we have that growth and we have that want and that desire to keep being better and to keep growing. You know, we want our kids to see that. We want our kids to grow up thinking, well, my parents worked really hard, I can do it too. You're gonna have bad days and there's way more good days than bad days, but make sure you can handle the bad because, I mean, that's tough. That, because you still have to go home and make supper for your family and you still have to put your kids to bed at night handle the bad. I was an ag ed major and I think that benefited me so much because I took classes in marketing 
in animal science, in agronomy, in wildlife and fisheries. I mean, I had such a variety of classes that when I graduated, did I think, I mean, I, I didn't even think in college that I'd someday be a, you know, a commodity broker and a marketing consultant. But I had somewhat of a basic information of that that I could grow on. And so diversifying yourself so that you can grow on one of those legs is a really beneficial opportunity. Pick the job that you want to do and make it work and show your kids that you love what you're doing and bring them into it as much as you can. Mm -hmm.